You can turn any shape into a brush. Today we're going to make an acorn brush. Remember when making a brush you always want to use the square. Let's change the brush color to white and our background to black. And we're going to use a technical pen that I duplicated. I went down to properties and turned the smudge all the way off because I want a crisp line. And let's turn on the drawing guide. Go to symmetry. Change the color of the symmetry line so that we can see it. And then we're going to zoom in here. And we are going to create a curve. Not quite touching the center. I'm going to edit that shape. And I'm going to move the middle handle in order to get rid of the dip down that you see at the bottom. There we go. And now we're going to turn the drawing assist off. Zoom in further. And we're going to put a little half circle at the bottom. And at the top, we're going to put an arc. There we go, that looks good. Above that, we want to create a partial ellipse. It'll be open at the bottom. We'll start on one side and draw a nice little oval. We need to move the handles so that the ends get buried in the side there. There we go. And then we zoom in a bit, turn the drawing assist back on, and we need to create the cap of the stem. And then we need to add some texture to the cap. Now what I'm going to do is go to the glitter brush that we created before. I'm going to select, automatic select, this area right here. And then lightly swoop over once. Then we're going to copy that four times. One, two, three, four and zoom in. And as you can see, that causes it to get just a little bit darker there. And then we select. We make sure that the magnetics is turned off. And we do fit to screen. And then we copy that layer. Let's go into brushes. And I'm going to use this maple leaf brush. Uh, you'll remember in our last lesson we created that one. I kind of didn't like it very much, so I created a new one. And just so you know what that looks like. There we go. That's the pattern that I used. Let's duplicate this brush. Spacing I'm going to set to maximum. I'm going to leave the jitter on. We go to Shape, Edit. You can see our new maple leaf brush there. We'll do Import and Paste. And there's our acorn. 
Get done on that. And let's move this down. And if you tap, you get randomly placed acorns. However, I don't want it to keep changing color like that. So I'm going to change my cursor color to black. I'm going to change my background to white. We'll go into this brush, color dynamics, turn the saturation and darkness off. And then it doesn't change color as we go. You can change the size of your acorns if you want. This is a good way to make a tile pattern. And what we're going to do next is color this. We duplicate that layer too. On the original layer, we have that selected. And then we're going to go for a brown color. We're going to select outside of our acorns, do an invert, and then tell it to fill layer. It only fills what you have selected, which in this case is right behind the acorns. <clears throat> and that's how you make a quick stamp brush from any picture you've drawn. So if you have one that you like, you want to turn into a pattern, make it into a uh, brush. And it's much easier to do it that way than it is to redraw or copy your uh, picture over and over again. Well, thank you very much for watching, and you all have a wonderful day.